Yeah, hi everybody, it's Dean Laprini. I'm back. Uh, I spoke probably about a week ago um, and I'm back to share a few more insights uh, that I have gleaned from the sacred sites that I visit. Today I've been called into a very special place here. It's, it's in Ilansby up the west coast in a beautiful mother cave um, that was frequented by the early, our early ancestors of the Bushman people. And uh, this cave in particular has many, many rock paintings uh, that I am busy with a paper on and I will share more of these incredible paintings with you um, when I'm finished my message for today. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to just take a seat. Behind me are some incredibly special um, prints, uh, hand prints and palm prints that show specifically that the ancient peoples were uh, showing their uniqueness as in the individual uniqueness within the clan um, and I will express more about that and uh, in my message to you today so here we are and um, I have shared my insights of this transformative time uh, just excuse me because I'm gonna read this through um, as a time to be still and to refine refind our spiritual center our own unique soul note that we share and sing along with the universal choir the golden unified field or song line of all creation that is now vibrating especially very loud and clear for all of us to hear and to remember. As our outer world rocks us to and fro, left and right, up and down, it is this our spiritual center that we can draw steadiness and guidance to help us navigate through this stormy sea. So here I am, uh, a retreat back to the home cave. This cave and many others were where our earliest ancestors of the San Bushmen came to rekindle their spiritual strength of the family daily safely in the womb cave they all sat together around the central fire telling stories singing clapping dancing together each one being allowed to share their own unique spirit and soul note with each other each person's uniqueness was being acknowledged and encouraged, allowing for each person within the family or the clan to renew and strengthen his or her inner spirit beingness and sing with confidence his soul note into the universal choir. So each one of them was, was uh, being supported by the other uh, in expressing themselves, who they actually were as individuals. And so much of, of, of uh, so many of us have been, uh, have lost actually who we actually are, what it is that our gift is, because we've been, we've created the system uh, <coughs> um, that is often dictating to us uh, what kind of jobs we should be doing, what kind of life we should be living. Um, and for the most part, to be honest, uh, uh, it's disconnected us. It's completely disconnected us from who we are uh, as individual beings and uh, the collective being of the universe that we are so much a part of, uh, all nature and all life. 
So to color the universal canvas with their light song, consciously and respectfully of others' light song, of the family, um, and all the nature spirit song that was around them, the song of the animals, of the land and the sea and the sky, the song of the wind, the rain, the sun, the earth, the song of the stars, and their ancestors. They acknowledged and remembered their connection, their interconnectedness with this universal choir. So this is the time, I believe, of the great remembering. Bringing of our full beingness back together to refine and better sing our soul note with the universal choir. Everyone is a part of this universal choir. You cannot not be. You are a part of the song of light. I believe we are not here to judge how others choose to sing their song or share their color. So when I talk about the song or the color, it's all about vibration. So we're not here to judge how others sing their song or share their color on this, our divine canvas. But by being more conscious and aware of this divine canvas, we can better share our soul note and colors to complement the ever-changing and evolving picture of the now. So what we may judge and perceive as a big black negative blotch sung onto the canvas by somebody, um, it's not right or wrong. It just may be the inspiration that we need to add our next brushstroke and color and song into the universal collective canvas and choir of the now. So I believe this is the time that we need to go in, inward, we need to find our inner core, light, our, our spiritual center, so that we can get very strong and clear guidance as to uh, how we pave our way into the future. Um, so let's take this time while everything's rocking around us, let's get in our power. Um, and I trust and believe and have hope that should each of us individually do this, um, we will clearly see the way forward. Spirit will guide us clearly the way forward. It will also give us the, the inner strength to speak up to those that are actually dictating the way forward. Um, so we need to be a part of a collective cohesiveness um, in order to shape the way for us all into the future. And we've all wanted change. Many people, uh, should I say, have, have been uh, saying, oh, you know, that the change is coming and blah, 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 blah. But, but nobody is really defining what that change needs to be. Um, how it is that we wish to live. What is the system we want to put in place? Do we want governance? Do we want self-governance? So these are all um, uh, insights that we can gleam once we find and rekindle the, the inner spirit uh, within us and strengthen that so that we can take our guidance from a higher source, a spiritual source. So, um, yeah, this is interesting. These are the, the paintings uh, here in the cave. And you will notice <clears throat> that there are many uh, of these palm prints. Uh, they are animals. And this also shows that the, the ancient peoples were individual, the way they have positioned their, their individual prints. These are actually, I believe, palm prints. Again, uh, showing individuality and uh, but how they are part of the greater canvas that includes the animals the ilans the long short-necked giraffe um, so these are all 
<coughs> showing the same message and where I gleamed my, my insight and guidance for today from. So let's all uh, become again a part of this unified uh, beautiful canvas of light and song and let us learn to, to better share our uniqueness, our gift of love and hope for humanity in a much better way as we pave our way into the future. So thank you and uh, love and blessings to you all.